Hello everybody. My name is Tim. Teacher Tim. I'm a volunteer English teacher, nomad, traveling around the world, at least around Eastern Europe and Southeast Asia, teaching English, meeting people, trying to do what I think is good for me and good for the others that will help others. I was born in Finland in 1963. I went to school there. I was studying and working there until I was 38 years old. I was studying history of ideas, philosophy, psychology, literature, social sciences. So everything that is somehow related to people and thinking, humanities. I was also studying Russian language and my Russian is in quite high level still and getting better and better when I practice it in the countries where people speak it. But I chose my main career to be different. I wanted to learn how to use computers. In 1990s they were a very new thing and I liked using a computer a lot. First I was using it as a typewriter but more and more I wanted to learn how to program it, how to maintain a computer system. I started hanging around in computer networks, Fidonet, Internet and doing something good there. I was using computer and internet in learning, especially learning Russian language and keeping in touch with Russian speaking people. I got my first online friends in the USA, in Russia and some other countries. Then I started working for the University of Helsinki, Department of Slavic and Baltic Languages, where I was helping the teachers, the staff, the students in using computers, encouraging them to use computers, to use internet for their studies, for their contacts, for getting more information, for finding information. It was very interesting work. I got lots of friends from my colleagues, international people from Russia, Bulgaria, Romania, Poland and Finland of course. I was still living in Finland. Then I went to work for another organization under the Ministry of Education. I set up the computer system of the Institute for Russian and East European Studies. And you can guess what I was doing there and what languages I was using. Yes. Russian and English. Then I became IT manager of the Center for International, sorry, Center of International Mobility in Finland. We took care of international projects in the field of education, student exchange, 
um, training incoming and outgoing exchange students I was the technical guy there but as always I was mainly working with people helping people with technology that's where I my expertise was and I was good at then I joined a private company it was an international project for mobile content not mobile technology that much but content of mobile phones related to what now we could call smartphone applications but it was long time before smartphones came we were trying to develop international network of mobile phones phones in order to share the content between the operators and users that project led me to Singapore in January 2002 I moved from cold Finland to tropical hot Singapore I stayed in Singapore for less than a year but during that year happened a lot I adopted a little kitten but I ended up marrying the person who gave me the kitten and together we moved to Australia first to Sydney but later to the tropical north it took some time to find work to settle in there with our two cats and soon we got two more cats and two dogs we both liked like animals very much and we were taking care of them I started working as a computer programmer system administrator in there in 2009 I retired because of health reasons I was already an Australian citizen dual citizen of Australia and Finland I started traveling doing volunteer work looking for content to my life that would make me happy or keep me happy doing volunteer work on organic farms meeting lots of new people receiving and giving information interacting communicating I moved a lot I started traveling more and more also outside Australia I went to Thailand Malaysia back to Singapore came back to Australia lived in new cities and more and more I started attending English clubs that had Asian students as members and I noticed that I am actually good at helping younger people they would be happy to listen to what I want to say what I have to share and I also wanted to learn from them I traveled around Australia by bicycle by walking using my little walking trailer then in 2014 I decided to leave Australia and 
travel in Southeast Asia and Eastern Europe plus some other areas. I moved to Malaysia, to Borneo Islands. I was traveling in Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. I started teaching refugee children from Myanmar in Malaysia. I went to Vietnam. I met lots of young enthusiastic people who wanted to talk to foreigners who wanted to learn English in order to improve their life and I found it very interesting and motivating helping those people. Once a year I made a trip to Finland to see my family and old friends also new friends, Sweden, other European countries, especially East European countries, where I could practice my Slavic languages, Croatian, Serbian, Bosnian, Polish, Slovak Slovakian. I also came to Ukraine for the first time in 2015 to Lviv then I decided I want to get to know Ukraine and Ukrainian people more and I came back here in March 2016 and I discovered it's the year of English language here and I could actually continue my volunteer teaching. That is why I now am looking for more opportunities to help Ukrainian people with their English. So, if you are interested, please let me know.